Hello everyone, this is the second tutorial for absolute beginners on the ukulele. If you haven't seen the first one, please go back and do that, and that will teach you how to hold the ukulele, how to strum it with your finger, and how to play the first chord, which is the chord of C. With this one, I'm going to start off with the chord of C. Now we played that by putting our ring finger in the one, two, three, third space on the first or bottom string, just like that, and with our curled index finger strike down once with the inside of the nail. Now what I want to do is to start that strumming rhythm at this sort of speed, one, two, three, four, just strike downwards, so follow after me. Now remember what I said in the first tutorial, be very careful not to dig your finger into the strings, otherwise you'll find that it makes a terrible sound and it hurts your finger. So just gently run the inside of the nail gently across the string, and remember strum from the wrist, not from the elbow, strum from the wrist. So we'll do that again, we're going to start at the same speed, and we're going to, we're going to start strumming. One, two, three, four. Now, what we're going to do next is to just make that a bit more interesting, is to come up with that index finger and use the pad, the, in, the pad of the index finger on the way up. So let me just show you. We go down on the nail and just touch it with the pad on the way up. Now I'm going to play a rhythm, listen to the rhythm, and when you feel that you've got it, Come in and join in. So that's down with the inside of the nail on the index finger and up with the pad of that finger. The next thing I'm going to do is to show you another chord. Now it's at this point that a lot of people give up the ukulele because they find they can't move your fingers fast enough into the right place on the strings. Well, it's at this point I need to tell you that you will learn. What happens is that over time you get muscle memory in these fingers and the fingers will automatically go to the right places. It is also completely right and proper that you don't hit it the first time, or the second time, or the third time. And when you start to play another chord, you find that the strings get fouled by the fingers. That's perfectly okay. Do not worry about it. All you have to do is just keep practicing and it will come. So, with that caveat, let me show you the next chord. We've learnt the chord of C. We're now going to learn the chord of F. And the chord of F is using the index finger on your left hand and putting it on the second string, on the second string in, in there between those two frets, the very first fret between the neck, between the stop there and the first fret. So we put that one there and with the next finger you put it on the top or fourth string in the second space. Have a go at that. Put your, put your finger, index finger, on the second string from the bottom in the first space, and with the middle finger on the top string or fourth string in the second space. So when you've got those in position, we're just going to do some strumming. If you're finding that your fingers are fouling the strings on this side and it's not a clean sound, don't worry, just readjust your fingers and try again.
remember what I said, it will come with time, it's quite usual for the fingers not to be in the right place and that the strings get fouled and it makes a funny sound. Don't worry about it, it's perfectly okay. So, what we're going to do is to do some strums on C and then we're going to change to F. So here we go, just follow along as best you can and then practice it. Okay, we'll do that again. Start off on C. Change to F. Now I'm going to stop there for the second tutorial because that's enough to get your head round. It hurts your head and it hurts your fingers. So take your time, learn to strum, learn to play C, learn to play F and learn to play between the two. And the next tutorial will take you on so that you will learn one more chord and with that you'll be able to play lots of songs.